So do people actually care about you enough to look at your Instagram photo for more than five seconds? My theory is no. And of course I have to prove my theory, so I hit a meme in five different Instagram posts. And let's see if anyone notices. Okay, so first meme I hid was Remy. I don't know why he was the first thing that came to my head when I was brainstorming what meme to hide. I don't even know if he is considered a meme, but we're kicking it off strong with Mr. Ratatouille himself. So I hid him in a man bun. Naturally, you can see his cheeky little face fits perfectly in the circular shape, so I had to. Plus, some people call this character a rat, but you didn't hear it from me. All right, boom, there we go. And now taking it to Instagram. I'm doing a carousel so it doesn't look too suspicious suspicious trying to make it look like every other post I normally do of course got to include the specs page if you're curious I use procreate this is the brush set I use for literally everything it can draw hot guys hot girls cute people scenery food everything so good yummy and soft indeed anyways it is now time to post of course it took me forever to think of a caption so let's speed that up a little bit all right final checks you can see Remy is still there smiling like a champ he is all right it is official nice and posted okay yes I'm using my iPad because I'm filming on my phone but now I'm getting kind of self-conscious because it's literally smack dab right there in the middle like it looks like i'd even try and hide it like that's the only thing i can see now okay i don't normally get a lot of comments but let's check back in a few days and see if anyone has noticed it Okay, so I think it's safe to say no one noticed. No one commented anything about Remy. Also, thank you to those who always leave such nice comments. I truly, truly appreciate you so much. I see you. Thank you. But yeah, so post number one, successful. Post number two, I decided to hide Mr. Hutcherson. Specifically, in this case, he is known for his whistle meme. Okay, I know this was such a fleeting trend. It was a thing for like two days, I know, but I did it around the time when it was like still kind of in, okay? Anyways, I decided to hide his face in the pearl of her headpiece. Boom, perfect fit. He looks fantastic. And on to Instagram. Also, isn't this a super cute sticker? Okay, I drew all the horoscopes, but I think this one's my favorite. Definitely not because I'm an Aquarius. Anyways, I didn't end up putting Josh in the second photo just because I think that would have been completely unnoticeable since since Instagram just really deteriorates the quality. Oh, but guess who wasn't predictable? This time I used a different brush for once. This one is super good for that cute style. If you want a good brush for making stickers or keychains too, this one's great. Also in the description if you want to check it out. But aside from that, I went ahead and took a 10 solid minutes to think of a caption. And then after sharing, I thought I would try and draw even more people in. So I put it in my story as well. And I even put a new post sticker directly on top of his face. Spoiler alert, no one noticed that one. But let's check back in a few days days. All right, this one was relatively easy to keep up with because I only got two comments, but I mean, that is a win in my book. So number two, success. All right, number three hidden meme. I decided to go with this iconic smiling cat. It's so cute. I had to do this one because I was like, I have a cat clouds print and this would just blend in perfectly, but I could still make it quite obvious. Also, quick heads up, keep watching because number four and five are literally my two favorite that I've done out of the five. I think I make it the most obvious and I also think I included them in the most creative way. So keep watching. Thank you. I love you. Okay, so the cat one, yes, blended it in. It's not too obvious, but then I was scared because there are already cats in the clouds people would take the time to like look and see how many cats they would be able to find. I was kind of scared with this one. I made it a little less obvious, but you can still see it. Don't worry. I didn't like completely dissolve it out. Again, I'm very predictable. It took forever on the caption. Use the same brush, but let's go ahead and share it. Also, I don't know about you, but I always, always without a doubt, turn off my likes. I got to keep my sanity. If I see how many likes I get, I'm truly gone. And I also put in my story just to try and draw more people in, but let's check back in five days. Okay, so it's been a solid six days later. Yes, I am using Instagram desktop, don't judge me, but no one has noticed. Again, super nice comments. I appreciate all of you so much, which means number three, success. Okay, day four, we're gonna throw in another meme. Let's insert a photo. Oh. Okay, just ignore that. We're gonna do Shrek because I can't do this challenge and not do Shrek. You know, like he, I just gotta, he's like an honorary member. He's probably even gonna be the thumbnail of this video. He looks like he's staring into your soul, which I quite enjoy, but I think it would be funny of me to, huh, I'm so funny. No, I'm not. Okay, to put his head in an egg yolk. He, he look, his head is like a perfect egg shape. So this just, it's just perfect. Okay, that is, Th this is way too obvious. Hold on. Okay, I feel like this is kind of cute, but I think I would want to take off the ears, but his ears are so iconic. If someone sees that, they're definitely going to comment on it, but I still feel like it's kind of too obvious. Should I just keep it like this? 
Okay, I feel like this is kind of good. Should I just do that? Okay, so I don't normally post at this time. Do you guys like care about posting times? I don't know because I feel like if I post at a different time, I might potentially reach a new audience. Okay, so here it is. You can see he's right there. Okay, this is... Yeah, that's good. You can you can clearly see it's him, but his color like matches the bacon, which is kind of cool. Again, I'm going to make a carousel. Imagine if I made this the second photo. And then the specs page, again, same brush. I'm becoming way too predictable. Do you guys ever use these filters? Like, I feel like, like there might be some like, oh... I was just about to say there could be some good hidden gems and then they just hit me with that. Also, I'm so sorry about my thumb. It, my nail literally ripped off. This is okay. This is so off topic. Literally made a reference to Shrek in the caption. Caption done. Shrek still there. All right. And let's post. Okay. And she's up. There we go. Okay. He kind of blurred out a little bit. Instagram kills the quality so much. If you guys know how to fix this, please tell me and here he oh did you just see my follower count drop i wish that showed <laughs> he's so cute just a quick update on the other ones so the cat still here no one has noticed mr josh hutcherson is still there no one has noticed mr ratatouille is still there and no one has noticed honestly i think this one is the most obvious all right and let's check back in a few days so it's been two days and we have a breakthrough. Someone has acknowledged the eggs, but did not acknowledge and see Shrek. So because of that, I think this still counts as a success. Today I decided to hide the Pingu meme, the Newt Newt meme. All right, spot the Pingu. Yes, right here. So cute, right? I thought I would try and hide this in a reel. Hopefully more people would comment on reels. So the real concept that I'm doing is like old art versus new art. I just realized there are a few more beat drops where I can add a few more photos. So let me bring you down here. I'm going to add him into even more art. So the beat allows me to do two more photos. I wanted to keep it circular shape, so I put it in the eyeball. And here's the final product. You can see him right there. Super cute. All right, and on to the third photo. Okay, and the last one. I'm not even going to try and hide it he's just gonna be right there i should even make him glow okay he's literally glowing uh i don't know how much more obvious i can make it but this is literally the last post of this experiment so um yeah it's gotta be you know in plain sight gotta be a little bit bold so that's what we're gonna do and not gonna lie it felt a little bit nostalgic writing my last hidden meme caption honestly let me know which one was your favorite because i think this one was my favorite kind of did a little different thing with a reel also hid three and one the shrek one is also my favorite but yeah let me know which one's your favorite because i'm genuinely really curious and let's post it and it is now officially posted our final experiment you know what i'm even gonna put it in my story i'm gonna put oh where to go i'm gonna put this oh my gosh i'm gonna put pink what am i doing i'm gonna put pingu in the story like that is that too obvious no it's not yeah yeah i feel like that that's good someone someone is has to notice if no one notices this is gonna be kind of sad and let's check back in three days all right, good morning. Let's check up on our Instagram. It's been four days and I have to report that no one noticed the Pingus. And this reel definitely got a lot more views than I was expecting. So to address the theory that I posed in the beginning, did people look at your Instagram photo long enough to notice that something's a little bit off? Probably not. But I mean, I don't blame them, especially because they're not aware that they had to be looking for something. I mean, you probably didn't even notice that I hid memes throughout this video. Honestly, I don't think anyone noticed, but have fun finding them. I'm gonna go now, bye.